I ran my first marathon in, I believe it was 1979. I really hadn't run anywhere that I didn't have to, which was, you know, a part of football. And it, for me, it was work. It wasn't something that you did um, for enjoyment. I mean, I started getting as far as I could around Lake of the Isles. When Diane started, she could get about a quarter of a mile. Running became our playtime. Neither one of us were necessarily morning people, but because we had children, we could get out and run early, and you could talk, you could laugh. It was a pretty magical time. We dabbled in a couple of races, short races, and I said, well, I should try a marathon. And of course, Diane looked at me like I was nuts. What I get out of it is finding out who I am as a person. You get to explore who you are and your limits. You, you could go out on the run, you could see the world in a different way, different than you can see it any other way, in a car, on a bicycle. I mean, you just see the world differently. What moves me about the Twin Cities Marathon is the people. It's really sort of the human element that, that I find just fascinating. Because it goes by our house, we've always been out cheering on the runners. And some neighbors who were having a party said, you know, come on down and bring a noisemaker. And I'm thinking a noisemaker, what do I have that would be a noisemaker? Well, there is nothing better than a sousaphone for a noisemaker. So I walked down the block with it to their party, made a little noise with it. It seemed to be well received. And so every year I try to be out there, first Sunday in October. That was probably 25 years ago. It's just become a tradition. We were a team, and I was out there every year. She was out there every year. She would bake uh, cinnamon rolls or, you know, all sorts of things uh, for the gathering, for the neighborhood. And so that was part of our life. And, um, She actually passed away um, two days before the marathon. And there wasn't any other place that I could have been. She would have wanted to be there, and I would have wanted her to be there. And it was our my way of honoring who she was. Every year, you know, I, I'm out leading up to the marathon and people who have run it want to make sure that I'm going to be there. From my vantage point, I get to look into and see a little bit of people's journey. And it gives you some insight to the human condition. It is all so fascinating to me. That's why it's more than a marathon.